Welcome to episode 10 of our playthrough of E-Shade. And we left the last episode with basically a new mission, which is called Chorus of the Night. And basically is sending us back to Narva to find out, or to chat to people there to find out about the mysterious Blushwood Night Drummers. We're also fairly close right now uh, to the Tiffmore Bluffs, but... Uh, well, actually, we're more like close to the Blushwood Forest. I don't know if there's anything else in here worth exploring, but I think we might just take a quick look before we head to Narva. You never know what we might find. And then we'll head back to Narva, ask around, and see if we can knock off this quest as quickly as we can. I've pretty much been ignoring most... Well, not ignoring most quests, but... Uh, exploring the area as much as I can in between trying to find or trying to solve quests but I think we're at the point now where our quest log is getting rather long and it would be good to knock off as many quests as we can when we're 100% aware of what we need to do for them. Hello, what's this? That's pretty cool. It's too deep. Oh, I wasn't going to go in there. I wanted to go over here to check out what this light is. Beautiful place to come and think, wouldn't you say? Uh, it is nice out here. This place will always be closest to my heart. My husband liked to come out here and fish. We spent many nights camping here in the Blushwood. But now old Pops is doing his best to tarnish my fond memories. Old Pops is a fish! The biggest fish in the lake! What didn't he do? This fish has haunted my dreams for, oh, what seems like ages. Old Pops, that evil fish. He has it out for me, I'll have you know. I was out on the boat with my husband, Farid, an anniversary camping trip, when old Pops leaps out of the water and snatches my wedding ring right off of my finger. I think we'll go with are you sure that's what happened. It's not the first time he's pulled something like this. He's taking glowstones and bracelets. Uh, sneakiest thief on the islands, that fish is. Well, some of those folks might be trying to cover up the fact they misplaced their precious items. It's easy to blame it on a fish. But he really did eat my ring. People round here talk about old Pops like he's some sort of magical fish with healing properties or some nonsense. They say when you stare old Pops straight in the eye, he conjures an image of what you want most in this world and makes that thing seem real to you, as real as day. Say, what would old Pops make you think of? What do you treasure most? Adventure? Painting? Hmm. Hmm. Probably art. You know, I never gave much thought to art having importance and all that. I suppose it does, though. I know my Farid would have loved to have an artist rendering of him with old pops. That's enough reflecting for the time being. You and I, people of action. I don't suppose you'd be willing to help me get my wedding ring back. Are you sure it's safe? Of course, of course. He's a big old fish, but you're strong. Will you get that ring for me? Sure. Excellent, excellent. Old Pops, better watch out. Our new traveler friend is a coming for you. You got a fishing pole? 
You're nope. not gonna be catching old pops without one. Maybe not even with one, that floundering foe. No doubtin' you could find one in Nava if you've got some glowstones to spare. I don't know too much about him, other than he's a big one. Bettin' he's a sandfish by the size of him. You stay careful round old Pops, you hear? He has it out for us, especially boaters and fisher folk. Okay, so I guess this is where we have to go fishing. We'll have to remember this. That's fine. We'll get ourselves a fishing pole back at Narva. Hmm. Did it reset the mirror positions? It did. Okay, so we, we, we'll come back here and we'll reset those mirror positions during the day. I thought if I left them there, they would stay there, but they do not. Oh, hello. Cut across through here, see what we find. So we have one uh, commission, which uh, it's under here. Okay, one commission. Wait on, is there anything more beautiful than a small stone bridge? I think not. I already took that image. Hmm. That's strange. It hasn't remembered that we took the image of the stone bridge. Which we... Which, there's one down here, so we can take another image at least. That's easily fixed. I don't think that tower counts for the other commission. We definitely want the bicycle as soon as we can afford it. Alright, this was the bridge we took, uh, we painted before. Unfortunately, I think that's going to. Wait on, that didn't, that didn't change anything. Oh, yes it did. Yeah, we did that last episode. Never mind. What I want to do, though, is... Let's see if we can take a shot of a tower that's not near the city. I keep saying take a shot like I've got, <laughs> like this is a camera game. Oh, we don't have to go as far as I thought we would. This tower will do just fine.
Okay. Truly sad individual. Uh, and a little cob house. Is that like the... Actually, do we even... I don't even know if we have enough inspiration. Is that a cob house? I'm not 100% sure. I feel like... The little hobbit house might be more suitable. This one. If not, this is going to waste inspiration. So let, but let's give it a try anyway. Ah, oh, we don't have enough inspiration. We need to have at least one by the looks. And we don't have any... Uh, we do. That will give us some inspiration. Will it give us enough? Oh, not quite. Alright, well, how much... We have 35 glowstones, which... Not really enough to buy anything interesting. But I think we'll head straight back to Narva now. Ask around about the drummers and see what we can, what else we can learn. And maybe some of our money might have to go on buying some brew so that we can get some inspiration. Or a fishing pole because we can earn glowstones from fish. I think that might be our best source of income. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll check out the fishing pole first because we might be able to catch old pops and earn ourselves more glowstones just by fishing. I like that we can move around at night now without any any stress. Oh, uh, now the fishing pole. Well, actually, we might just ask around. Hey! So, I have some news for you. Leilani and I went out for a picnic date at the hot springs. We went at sunset, and it was gorgeous. Right when the stars came out, I told her how I felt, and... She felt the same way. We're officially a couple now. Thank you so much for helping me out. It means the world to me. You're such a great friend. A champion of true love. You're such a great friend. A champion of true love. Alright, nothing else to be learnt from her. But we've now finished... Oh, there it is. A Marketplace Romance. Okay, so that's finished. Hello again. Thanks for rounding up those poisonous veggies. What a shock. I was able to explain it to the market council. They said I've got one more chance. Could you believe that? I've got my eyes on the prize this time. No more mix-ups. Okay. It's a cat. For some reason, I have a feeling we had something to do with a cat. I might be wrong. Springs. Find out the password. We've got to go back to Finn and... Yeah, okay, maybe not. If so, we know where the cat is now. just keep asking around. This is a sad looking 
individual. Oh, inspiration's so hard to come by, but that looks like a sad looking individual to me. Do we have the inspiration? We do, and it might be a waste. Let's... Yes! A Portrait of Despair. Which is another one of our... Oh! Cancel. Uh, what did I want to do? Yeah. Nope. Commissions. There we go. And now the only one left that we haven't done is the Cobb House. We haven't worked that out yet, but... That's fine. We need more inspiration. Forgotten Good day. what this person does for us. Zip trolley. Perfect tool to travel via zip line. Well, that's interesting. There are zip lines from the towers. I want one of those. And a tea kettle. Make tea wherever you go with herbs and a suitable heat source. We could brew our own Lindonian tea. Which means we would need ingredients for that. Oh, but we only have 35 glowstones. We'll come back here and think about that once we find out... What crunchy scales. I don't have any fish to sell. What? And... We do... Oh, we don't have enough for the fishing pole. But we will have once we turn in our... Once we turn in our... Interested in a book. Commissions. Fish of the Fellstream River. A helpful fishing guide. Yes, we want both of these things. But we'll come back for those once we see... That we can afford them. Oh, he's not here. What time is it? Oh, he only works during the day. Hey, so you know that hot spring I told you about? Evelina and I went out there for a picnic. It was nice. And she asked me to be her girlfriend. So now we're together. That's great. It's so weird, but I feel like you had something to do with it. Anyway, thanks for whatever you did. Let me know if you need any weird tasting ground up plants. There are a group of people who like drinking this special tea because it makes you have better dreams. They hang out in the cistern under the city, but sometimes they have meetings on the Salt Spring Coast Beach. My brother loves drinking the tea, but it's so boring. I mean, it just makes you dream. You're asleep the whole time. Okay. Let me know if you need any weird tasting ground up plants. Will do. Hmm. Ah, you've returned. You will certainly live a long time if you keep drinking this magical tincture. Not right now. Actually, ah, probably you've you picked up. Night drums. Is that right? Well, I'll say that's pretty strange. I wondered if those folks would be interested in my elixir. Hmm, I don't think so. There's no chance to talk to her about them. Let me know if you need any them. weird tasting ground up plants. Nope. Let me know if you need any weird tasting ground up. Yep, yep. Night drummers. What can I brew you up? I want both of those things, but for now, I just need to not spend a cent. Hi again. Ready to buy a bicycle yet? You'll get around a lot faster. Have you tried talking to Leela? She's the head librarian at the university. She knows just about everything. Help me find an obscure text on ancient woodworking techniques. Maybe she knows something about these drummers. Okay. 
80 glowstones. All right, we need 80 glowstones to get the bike. Did you pick up a paper? Sure thing. Would you like to donate a glowstone to the Shady and Post so we can keep the paper free without ads and unmotivated by pop news and tabloid journalism? No problem. Not right now. We're saving our bucks. Okay, so... Uh, not you. We need to go see the librarian until... What's his face is back in here. I can't remember his name. the librarian oh history of navy and tea didn't find this before the floral scent of tea fields is one which all Navians think of fondly and look forward to in the rainy season. Though much of the agriculture in Nava has turned to pea farming, the Navian steeps host the island's largest tea fields with some plants over 55 years old. Each farmer has their own methods for drying and blending teas, but the most basic recipe for a classic Ishe brew is a secret mix of three different varieties of tea leaf. Legend says that a wealthy merchant arrived in the city during a drought. Rather than disappoint the merchant with only a single cup of weak tea, the farmers combined their leaves and created a new taste unlike any other. Imported teas in recent years have brought new flavours and variety to the market, much to the delight of tea drinkers the island over. Hmm, I'm sure that book was there before. Or, or even if I've read it out before. Doesn't ring a bell. I'm sure the librarian was down here, not up top. Yeah, there she is. Another cat. Hello, Woody Tat. Oh, the cats are everywhere. Hi there. Hello there. Night drummers. You know, it's so strange. Somebody came in just this morning and donated a book. She said to point people to it if anyone asked about night drumming, which made very little sense to me, considering this book appears to be unrelated to that. Uh, not that I'm entirely sure what night drumming is. It was hmm. a little peculiar. Just about every sentence she said was a rhyme. Not sure if she meant to do that or if she was just doing it by accident. An interesting woman. I quite liked her. And then here you are asking about that very topic. So, are you a night... A drummer? Am I saying that right? Is this a new thing people are doing? Oh, I'm always so behind the times. No, it's something curious I saw. Sounds curious indeed. Anyway, the book is called The First Folk and it's on Shelf C. Okay. Hmm. I'm not supposed to give those out to patrons. There's a bit of construction going on. Well, that sounds lovely. Why don't you talk to Zora about this? She has an office on the next floor up and probably a bit more clearance to fudge the rules. I love it here. There's really... I moved here right out of college when my longtime resident aunt wrote to me about a job opening in the library. Okay. C. Here we go. The First Folk Little is known about the First Folk of Eastshade. Remnants show activity on the island dating back at least 600 years. The ruins of the Tiffmore Bluffs have yet to be closely studied, but it is believed that they were built centuries after initial inhabitation of the island. During Lindo's settlement, several relics and carvings were uncovered, but lost shortly after in the catastrophic mudslide. It was previously believed that the first family settled on Eastshade 200 years ago. We still have much to learn about Eastshade's true first inhabitants. Okay. Ooh, a note slips out of the pages. Dearest Traveller, Drumming Unraveller, a start we had when you stumbled in. We aren't used to this, me and my kin. A shock it must have been that night to see us running off in fright. I do hope that you weren't offended. That's not how I would like this ended. If you forgive our quick retreat, I think that you and I should meet. 
Find me before dawn at Mudwillow's mirror. I hope that I can make things clearer. Okay, we have our mission. Mud Willow's Mirror after midnight. Which is Mud Willow's Mirror. What time is it now? 6.20 a.m. Okay, so by the time we get there, we might be able to arrange the mirrors as well. Uh, but before we do that, let's hand in our commissions and buy a fishing Welcome pole. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Oh, what? Oh, yep. Yeah. It's a solid composition. They're so very sad. A cob house. A natural arch. I'm interested in purchasing a landscape. I prefer it if it included a natural arch. Okay. A starry cavern. Hmm. That wouldn't be the fox. The water fox cave, would it? A windmill. We know where some windmills are. Okay. Nope. 95. Oh, it's very tempting to get a bicycle. But. It is so tempting to get a bicycle. We can afford one. But at the same time, we also need to fish. And fish will earn us money. What crunchy scale. We'll buy that. Okay, and then we will also buy some fishing books. Interested. And one of those. And also, hmm, I think we have enough money for a tea kettle. Where do we find the tea kettles? Can't remember. What does she have Glad now? Glad to see that coat is treating you well. A group of degenerates. They lay in pools of water, drinking hallucinogenic teas and raving about their otherworldly experiences. They'll try to trick you into believing it only alters your dreams, but don't believe them. Their goal is to consume all the tea that rightfully belongs to the goddess TM, and the authorities are utterly useless in the matter. If you want to support and aid the sanctity of the tea, you should seek out the Shez as soon as possible. Oh. The Shez are the religious group that actually uses the teas out of respect for our goddess TM. They have a temple on the Tifmore Bluffs. If you know anything about the Roots cult, you should tell them. Okay, so we have a clue to getting our... Good day. Oh, a clue to getting our past the password we need. Okay. We have our kettle, and... Books. The season blooms on the island. Air thick with the scent of budding herbs and brewing teas can only mean one thing. The season for wild crafting has finally arrived. Herbal flowers and tea leaves are coming into bloom and East Shadians young and old are eager to fill their baskets with the finest cuttings. Thanks to the shared fields law, all of these delicious plants are for free. Yep, okay. Here we go. This is what we wanted. I'd already read out that last one before. Lindonian Lindoian brew. Want two white bloom sacks, one snatch of roots. Mountain wort tea. That's probably even better.
Bloom sacks, roots, and mountain warts. What do we have? We have plenty of roots, plenty of bloom sacks. Do we not have any mountain warts? No. But we now can brew our own tea, so and we can also make a fire. So I'm guessing that's what we'll need to do to brew tea. Perhaps. Or maybe there's an easier way to do it with equipment. No, I'm pretty sure we'll have to brew tea at a fire. Okay, so now what we need to do is... Just check our commissions for one moment. No, I haven't. What did I do? Commissions. Why is that happening? I don't want to paint. I didn't choose to paint. Yeah, that's what I was after. Oh yeah, an arch, a windmill, a cavern, and a cob house. All right, let's continue on, and it's another day. We'll hurry to the Blushwood Forest. Go see the two people there that want to see us. A little mice updated. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Timing is good. So I've, I've got the name of the quest. I'm glad that happened. The little mice. Finn is his name. Finn and Radia. Okay. So you keep saying, what is that? Never noticed that before. I guess we probably have to. Okay, <laughs> but how do I get out of it? Hmm. There appears to be no way to stop doing this. Ah, oh, escape. Okay. Hello, sir. Ahoy there, traveller! Alas, those carrot chompers are still at it. Seems the mice are trapped inside my new fence. Odd, though, they never leave so much as a stem behind. Hungry little creatures, aren't they? Why don't you stop by K and K Apothecary? Kai and Kaylin should have some repellent that'll send any critters bolting. They live west of here, along the riverbank on the south side of the Blush Woods. See you soon. Okay. Let's ch check in here. I don't think we have anything. Oh. Well, that's interesting. What do we have? We need our books and our classic shady and teas. Two white bloom sacks, one snatch of roots. One, two, one. Brew. What's that? Okay, 
And what was the other one? Two snatches of roots, one inky cap. Earth root tea. Let's make more some of that. don't have any mountain wart, I'm pretty sure. Three mountain warts. No mountain warts. We could probably randomly blend some things together, but let's just leave that for now. Now we should have a few teas up our sleeves. Or some inspiration. Hi again. It's nice to see a familiar face. We don't get too many visitors out here. That's where I grew up. My best friend yeah. was my and I've got already know about all that. Okay. That is just sensational. one of the mirrors we need. So I guess we're going to have to somehow work these two together. And there's a third mirror on top. When skies return blue and sun shows anew, after skies gone red and cold, my light will display, but do not delay. I shudder as air turns cold. Gold? Hmm. I shudder as air turns gold. Consider this well and do not object, not once but twice you must reflect. Only then can my truth be told. After skies gone red. Okay, so we have to do it at just before dawn. Hmm. So we need to meet someone here after midnight. We also need to be here just before dawn by the sound of it. We need to head to the south of Blush Woods, which must be around here somewhere. Uh, and also, I'm thinking there must be one of the hot springs is probably up in that area. It did say in the four corners of the map, so I'm thinking it's one here, there may be one there, or around this area, one here, and one in this area. So right now, we're waiting on time to tick down to dawn, which means the best thing for us to do next would be the quest that requires us to catch this fish and I think considering we're already up to 40 minutes in this episode, we might do that in the next episode as well as position these mirrors and also meet the little folk. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll do all that next time. I'll see you then.